Hello all, welcome. In this video we are going to discuss about how to map an attribute between Team Center and NX. What is attribute mapping in Team Center integration with NX? It is an effective tool to define and configure the properties between Team Center and NX. This process cannot be done with non existing properties. Attribute mapping is a process of identifying and correlating attributes of two or more related entities, typically for the purpose of data integration, data modeling, data analysis, and so on. There are two different types of attributes in NX Part type attribute and database type attribute. Part type attributes stay in the NX part files not in the Team Center database or not mapped to Team Center by default, where the database type attributes are mapped and attached to the relation which is listed in the Team Center properties. In this process we are going to map the database type attributes. Now we can start the process of mapping an attribute to Team Center property and NX. But before starting, we need to follow these steps to map the attributes with Team Center and NX. Select the property. Check attributes in NX. Create a text document. Import to Team Center command prompt. Assign the values and validate. So, first we need open Team Center application and give the credentials of user ID and password to it and wait for few seconds to open Team Center application. And then you can open the NX to check what type of attributes are assigned by default from the Team Center to NX. Now select any item or item revision. And click on Open NX which can be seen at the top menu or toolbar. Wait for few seconds to load the parts and components into NX from the Team Center. The parts are loaded and we need to select the options part navigator or assembly navigator from the top right side of the graphically displayed window and select properties. There you can find the list of default attribute properties of Team Center and NX with the Team Center symbol. This symbol represents that the attributes are mapped with Team Center and locked by default. Close the NX and open Team Center. Here we are going to select the property to map with the NX. Go to Edit Properties of an Item. And there from the All option at the bottom. And then Show Empty Properties. There you can find a lot of empty properties. In this we need to select a property which has both read and write access to it. So now I'm going to select a Team Center property of Object Description, which has read and write access and it can be useful to map with NX attributes. There is an important note, in the Team Center, we need to remember the real property name to map the attribute with the NX, the display property is not considered to map the attribute. After selecting the property for mapping, close the Team Center. When we opened NX attribute properties we can't see the object description property here, and all the properties which are integrated are locked but after mapping we can find that property from this list. To map the attributes to NX we need follow three steps mainly. First step is to run the export attribute exe file in the tc command prompt. Second is to edit the text document. And the third is to run the import attribute exe file in the tc command prompt. To run the command prompt, go to tc root and bin folder where you can find the import and export exe files. Now to run the command you need to, open the tc command window and copy the path of bin folder to change the directory and click enter, the path has been changed and then select the export attribute mapping option, then type the tc credentials, username and password with group. And give the command hyphen file equal to any name and click enter. This file option is used to collect all the information from export attribute mapping exe file. 
There you can find a text document is created with the given file name. Now open this document with Notepad++. In this document you can edit the information regarding Team Center properties and map the attributes. Here is the important property master equals CAD, Amon and both. When master equals CAD, CAD can change the value and save the change in Team Center, but Team Center is ignored to change the value and the changes made in it cannot be saved. When master equals Amon, NX is prevented to change the value. When master equals both, NX as well as Team Center can change the value and save the change. Now when scrolling down to the bottom you can find the dataset type is UG Master. The dataset related to NX parts. Here we need to add the Team Center property with the real property name as an object underscore description in inverted commas, object type equals item object description, master equals both and the description equals object description, it's is the name given to show in the properties list. In this document, we have written the property to map with NX, save the document and close it. Now again we need to run the team center command prompt to run the import attribute exe option, as same as export attribute. We need to check the import attribute option from bin folder and open the team center command window. Change the directory by giving cd and copy the path of bin folder and enter. Now the path has been changed. Then select the import attribute mapping.exe file and type the username, password, and the group. Here we need to give the file equal to save tet document name to import the attributes in NX. It will take some time to map the attribute and import them Team Center and NX. There the attributes are successfully mapped. Now close the command prompt and open Team Center. Now open Team Center and select any item, go edit properties and assign the value for object description property which is mapped earlier with the Team Center and NX attribute, here I'm giving the value of object description as piston. And then click on save and check in. There you can find that the value is assigned. Now open the NX to check that the attribute and value which is assigned are mapped or not. The component is loaded and go to the properties of an item. Now you can fin that attribute is mapped and the value given in Team Center is also visible in NX. So, we can change the value from the NX and let's see that the value has changed in the Team Center. Change the value to Piston Head. After that click on Apply and save the component in NX and open the Team Center. There you can find the value has changed, as we gave the master equals both, the value can be changed or applied from both the applications. By following this process, you can map the attributes with various team center properties, like materials of the component, part properties and so on.